So in front of me here I have the false indigo bush. Latin name is Amorpha fruticosa. This plant is native to a lot of the southeastern United States. You find it a lot here in central Florida, like along the edges of creeks, on alluvial berms near rivers. I find it a lot of times like literally growing out of the side of like a sheer <laughs> wall, like on the edge of a river or creek. You find it a lot in the Alifaya River Basin that way. Um, again, it's called false indigo bush. It has these beautiful, beautiful flower spikes that come out in the springtime, probably March through June, with the peak being in like April and May here in Florida. They're not a wetland plant, but again, they are kind of like associated a lot of times with the edges of wetlands. They are a legume. They do fix nitrogen. They're a real woody, long-lived shrub. You can see they have that classic compound legume leaf and the flowers as well are pretty um, typical for a lot of legumes. <clears throat> um, the plant, th my, this plant here is one of several that I have. It's kind of growing sideways like this. This one, this is a pretty dry spot in my yard. It's actually a very dry spot in my yard in my front yard here and again this doesn't get a lot of water here i had some other ones i took one out on the side of the house that got a lot more water and it was three times the size in half the time so they get they will grow they do like regular water but they can adapt you know this one is actually looking pretty good this year so you know, this plant really, it, it blooms. This is like where it's March, it's March 21st here in near Tampa. And this plant's kind of in full bloom. And it's a little bit ahead of some of the other stuff. So the bees really, really like this plant when it is in bloom. Um, again, it fixes nitrogen. You can prune it back and it will come back, but it kind of grows and flushes. It doesn't grow continuously throughout the season, at least in my experience. So um, in the native landscapes, a really good, most of your legumes are good plants to start with because they're adaptable. They can tolerate poor soils. And um, they typically grow pretty fast. So this plant's pretty widely available at most of your native nurseries. You can find them in the wild and grow them from seeds pretty easily. You know, the seed pods are, uh, every one of these little flowers will turn into a little pod with one seed in it. And they grow from seed pretty regularly. So, it's, I don't have them self-seeding in my landscape. I don't know why. But I think it might have to do with just where they are and that the mulch is kind of deep and stuff and we don't get good seed to soil contact. But um, yeah, Amorpha fruticosa. It's a really good plant, again, for attracting pollinators. And it's a nitrogen fixer. It's a native. And I just, I think it looks cool. And these, these flowers, there's not many flowers that have this color. And I've seen big ones that have, uh, you know, some of the biggest ones I've ever seen were maybe two and a half inches in diameter and over 10 or 12 feet tall. And they're, you know, on the edge of a stream or something. And they'll have a hundred of these big clusters on the top of the plant. So in the right conditions, they can really, really, really thrive. And uh, I think it's a really good plant to start out with. Especially, again, if you have some, like, more moist areas, it seems to like. And it can tolerate in wild, I find it in pretty deep shade, like, where it gets full shade half the day and then part sun, you know. So, this plant here gets sun most of the day and it gets the really hot afternoon sun. This, this side of my yard is facing to the west, so it gets in the summertime, this is the hottest part of the yard is right here. So you can see there's, this is the least densely vegetated 
part of the yard because it's dry and hot here. This is a, the hardest place to establish anything in my yard. So, um, but this amorphous hanging on here. So I'm going to, uh, I don't think I'm going to prune it and I wouldn't recommend that you prune them for a little while, let them grow and, uh, let them develop kind of some kind of shape. Cause they do have a pretty hard wood. When I cut one down, it was, it was not like a little puny weak wood. It was pretty hard. So again, Amorpha fruticosa, you'll find this plant at like native nurseries here in Tampa, Sweet Bay Nursery. They carry these, they grow them from seeds. And I would definitely recommend it if you're planting, trying to attract pollinators and starting out a native landscape. Excellent plant. Check it out.